And a very good Tuesday morning to all of you. It's April the 7th. Here we are in Vero Beach. There's our beach in front of the Victoria Condominium. And, and here are the numbers for today. I want to remind everyone, these are not like ball scores, but I just have to give them as quickly as I can so that it doesn't drag out and you get a general idea of where we are. Remember, I, one of the things I need to tell you about is when I say that the global cases are 1,360,039, an increase of 79 93. The total number is 1,360,039. It's the 7993 is over yesterday, but the first number I give you is where it is today. Global death, 75,973, an increase of 6,148. U.S. cases, 368,449, an increase of 30,803. The U.S. A deaths 10,993, an increase of 1,345. Florida deaths 254, an increase of 33. Florida cases 13,629, an increase of 1,279. And Florida hospitalized 1,719, an increase of 236. Positive cases in Dade County 4,171, an increase of 25. Broward County, 2,075, an increase of 189. In Palm Beach County, 1,082, an increase of 82. Martin County, that would be Stewart, 85, an increase of 25 over yesterday. St. Lucie County, that's Fort Pierce, 107, an increase of 25 over yesterday. Again, I remind you that the total number is 107. Indian River County, Vero Beach, that's where we are, 60, an increase of 5 over yesterday. Brevard County, 92, an increase of 13, that's up north of us, just north of us, and that's Melbourne. And in Orange County, 754, that's Orlando, an increase of 41. The good news for us at the moment here in Indian River County, we at least have the lowest number of cases and the, and the uh, smallest increase. So I hope these numbers, you understand these numbers. I try to make them as simple as possible. I was chastised for giving them out like I was giving out ball scores. I don't mean that. That's not my intention here. I'm just trying to keep you up to date, and I hope that I do it the best I can. I am trying to do it the best I can. Here comes the black and white version so you can read it a little bit better. I always kind of like to show our beaches when I'm doing this. kind of like to show off a little bit. Good morning, everybody. It is April the 7th. It's a Tuesday. It's another beautiful day here in Vero Beach. I'm broadcasting from my studio at my Vero condominium at uh, Victoria. Several people have said to me, why do you go out? You're not supposed to go out and go to work. Well, I just roll out of bed and roll right in here to the guest room where I have my studio. So I am not going out and I'm not going to work. Uh, okay, let's start out. And the first thing I want to say is, I'm really desperately trying not to say, ah, every time I can't think about what I'm going to say next. Oh, I forgot to mention, Silver Seas hat, what does it say, 26 years? I'm not a Silver Seas guy. I have never traveled on the Silver Seas cruise line, but a good friend of mine gave me the hat. So I thought out of respect to them, I should wear the hat. Actually, I'm an Oceana guy. If you want to know what my favorite cruise ship line is, it's Oceana. I've done a half a dozen cruises with Oceana and really think it's terrific. I imagine Silver Seas is equally as fine. I just haven't traveled on it. So let's take a look at the weather report for today. For Tuesday, sunny, high about 82 degrees. There's no rain in our forecast for today. It looks just terrific outside there. It was 69 degrees this morning, and the temperature is going to hit 90 tomorrow. So the biggest full moon of 2020 will pop up over our horizon, and it'll make its appearance tonight at about 1035. It's called the Super pink moon and it's the only time you're going to see it this year but it'll happen more or less most of this month the month of april and 55 percent of the icu beds are currently occupied here on the treasure coast about your pets the center for disease control and prevention has stated for weeks that while it has no reason at this time to think that animals and pets might be a source of infection for covid19 it is still trying to figure this out. 
You should restrict your contact with pets and other animals while you are sick with COVID-19, just like you would with anybody else around you. Although there have not been any reports of pets or other animals becoming sick with COVID-19, it's still recommended that people sick with COVID-19 limit their contact with animals until more information is known about this from the Center of Disease Control. The case of the tiger contacting COVID-19 at the Bronx Zoo is the first of its kind. This case suggests that the zoo employees spread the virus to the tiger. For further studies are needed to understand if and how different animals could be affected by COVID-19. So we don't really know. Bottom line is better safe than sorry. So be careful with your animals and let's try not to affect them. We don't know exactly what's going on with them. Okay, folks, if you're down in Miami Beach wearing a mask during COVID-19 pandemic has quickly turned from a suggestion to a demand for people going to stores in Miami Beach. Soon, all employees and customers will be required to wear masks inside the grocery store and pharmacies. Failure to do so may be considered a misdemeanor. Now, it would appear that social distancing is working according to the New York governor, However, this is not the time to begin to relax those rules at this time. We're making progress, but it's slow. It'll take a few more weeks to know for sure if all the disciplines we're implementing are really part of the effect. So just because for a couple of days everything leveled off and deaths started going down a little bit doesn't necessarily mean that we're out of the woods yet sort of a good sign, but as I keep telling you every day, these numbers that I'm reporting are numbers that are flowing in over a period of about 10 days. So all of a sudden you could get a whole bunch of them from one day that you didn't have before. And that does, that's not indicative of the fact that yesterday was really a bad day. It's just because the numbers are accumulating and beginning to come in. The numbers are accurate, so long as we have all of the numbers. So I keep saying all the time, please stay at home if it's absolutely necessary for you to go out. Please go out, but obey the social distancing rules. You know what they are? Uh, It's absolutely necessary for you and the people that you come in contact around you. It is so important. Uh, I gotta go down here. I got a couple of more things and I got some interesting stuff to tell you at the end. So this is interesting. Uh, College athletes in Florida will be able to make money off their name, images, and likeness under a bill overwhelmingly passed by the Senate on Monday. The Senate voted 37 to 2 to allow athletes to be paid for the use of their name and images, a practice, practice that's still not allowed by the NCAA. Florida is following the lead of California, which has a similar law to go into effect on 2023. And the stock market is crawling ever so slowly back up the ladder. It's in the mid-22s, almost 23. Actually, more than I expected. Uh, if you're in cash, obviously, it might be a good time to do, it, do some buying because clearly the market's going to get back up to 29000 30000 in relatively short order. What short order? Well, maybe by the end of the year if we're really, really lucky. So I have a couple of ideas for you that I'm going to insert here, and you can take a look at it. And then I have a couple of other little stories that I'll tell you at the end of this video. Okay, folks, if you're bored or just need something to do, this is something I threw together over the weekend. This is called chili. It's called bourbon chili, but I didn't put any bourbon in this one. It has a little cheddar cheese on top of it. And it's, a, it's just a lot of ground beef, ground turkey, lean ground beef, lean ground turkey. And it is um, a lot of vegetables sauteed in there and just throw it all together. It's very easy to make. And this is hummus. Great thing for a guy to make. Get your Cuisinart out. Throw a bunch of uh, gubanzo beans in there, a little olive oil, some lemon juice. And there you go. And then I made it look pretty and I stuck all those little carrots in there. So that's hummus and you can eat that as a little appetizer or snack on it throughout the day. But the chili is really to die for. It's quite good. Go ahead and throw it together. I have some videos. You can see the videos. It's called bourbon chili. If you go looking for one of my videos, that's it right there. But you don't have to put the bourbon in if you don't want to. And this one over here, this is called Christmas hummus. Hope you enjoyed that. 
Okay, I told you I had a couple of cute little stories. This is from Terry Frada, one of my neighbors here in Vero Beach. So Terry says, uh, while out for a walk, I saw a lady talking with her cat. She was sure the cat understood. I went home, I told my dog about it, and we both had a really good laugh. Pretty cute, right? Okay, this one's called Smile, and this is done by Lois, K-U-B-A-L. So Lois, here you go. Just be careful. People are going crazy from being locked down. Actually, I've been talking with this to my microwave and toaster while drinking coffee, and we all agreed that things are getting really bad. I didn't mention anything to the washing machine. as She keeps putting a different spin on everything, and certainly not to the, fr to the fridge, because he's actually acting cold and distant. In the end, the iron straightened me out. As she said, everything will be fine. No situation is too pressing. The vacuum was very unsympathetic and told me just to suck it up, but the fan was more optimistic and hoped it would soon blow over. The toilet looked a bit flushed when I asked its opinion and didn't say anything, but the doorknob told me to get a grip. The front door said I was unhinged, and so the curtains told me, yes, you guessed it, pull yourself together. Pretty cool, right? Lois, K-U-B-A-L, here in Vero Beach. Good stuff. Hi, everyone. Ron Kreider broadcasting from the Victoria here in Vero Beach, and this is our beautiful beach. It is March the 25th, a beautiful day at the beach. We look out here and we see about, it's going to be about 80 degrees today. Hardly a cloud in the sky, and the beach is just as good as it can possibly be. I have assembled a number of restaurants. These are the restaurants that I go to. These are the restaurants that I like. If I omitted your favorite restaurant, I'm sorry. I only recommend restaurants that I go to. Doesn't mean I don't like the other ones. I just haven't included them in here. So let's start out first with absolutely my favorite restaurant in Vero Beach is a Tides restaurant. Chef Leanne has done a fantastic job. There isn't a nicer chef in Vero Beach than Chef Leanne. She does so much for the town, so much for her employees. She keeps them working all year round. She doesn't close in the, in the summertime. And she makes sure that she puts out good value in the summertime so people will come in. Many times she's operating at a loss or a break even just in order to keep these people who are coming up operating with her and these people are standing by to take care of you right now they have delivery they also have curbside pickup and they have great food the very best restaurant in Vero Beach for at least the past 10 years and you can depend on that there's no question about it if you want really fine food would like to have a fine dinner give them a call their phone number 772-234-3966 Next is an interesting place called the Red Onion. It's over in the same area on the Ocean Drive. And there's their number, 772-492-8881. Great sandwiches, great salads. Give them a call. The Red Onion, 10 to 7 every day. Here is Cravings, a wonderful little spot, 772-231-0208. And they have great sandwiches and ice cream and they're open. You're going to have to give them a call. Some of these times and hours I'm giving you aren't exactly what they are because they keep changing. Here's the Polo Deli. John Marks and, oh my goodness gracious, what a great job these people do over here. They've been around. John Marks is a living legend here in Vero Beach. He's opened up so many different restaurants, sold them all, all of which have been very successful. That's the Polo Deli, and we go in and buy some wine. This is what you get. They have curbside pickup. Polo Deli is open from 10.30 to 3, Monday through Saturday. Just give them a call, come by and pick up whatever you need or whatever you order, and they'll be ready for you. Vines, Wining and Dining, just another fine restaurant here in Vero Beach. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Zandra and her family take care of this restaurant. She has a great crew of people, terrific chef, great food. And she does curbside pickup. She's open every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I say open, I mean you call and they will have food ready for you at curbside pickup. The number's up there on the top of the screen. 
Mulligans, you're all familiar with Mulligans, 772-492-6944. Really good stuff. They've been around for a long time. Curbside pickup once again. Also, as you know, there's all, all sorts of other delivery services available. Here's Ocean Grill. Love the Ocean Grill. Many people say the Ocean Grill is a, is a tourist trap. Not so at all. It's a fabulous restaurant. I've been going to the Ocean Grill since 1961. I love it. The food is really good. They're open from 6 to 8 for uh, curbside pickup. As I said, there's a lot of also delivery services that will p- pick things up and drop food off for you, as you probably know. You've been hearing me talk a lot about Five Acre Farm. Five Acre Farm has fresh vegetables. They're primarily a wholesale place, but they will deliver. 772-205-7144. They have their own fresh garden, fresh vegetables. Pull them out of the ground, stick them in a bag, and bring them to you. Doesn't get any better than that. You don't want those vegetables that everybody been touching in Publix. Absolutely not. Here is Francesca's Italian Kitchen. It's an Italian family, had a bunch of restaurants up in uh, Pennsylvania at Penn State University and also in Orlando. Terrific Italian food. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Curbside pickup. Obviously, the beach market here in Vero Beach, uh, Village Beach Market. A lot of pre-prepared food there, and they're open from 7 to 7 every day. And give them a call at 772-231-2338. Here's an institution in Vero Beach that's been around for a long time. 2J's, 772-569-6070. You want to cross over the bridge like the song said? Remember Patty Page? Cross over the bridge. Okay, well, that's it. No more singing, Ron. Sorry about that. Anyway, that's my list of restaurants. It'll give you an idea of places that have takeout for you, takeout and delivery. Some of the places deliver. Some of them don't deliver. But all of them are available for takeout. This is of, as of March the 25th. All the times may change uh, as to whether when they're open and so forth. So you really have to give them a call. That's why I did include all of their phone numbers. If you like this video, give me a like. Subscribe to the video if you'd like to get more like this. It doesn't cost you anything. And I'm not selling anything. And I don't get paid to do this. Have a great day.